All of us work at something, even if it's keeping ourselves fed. And lots of us do unpaid work in the home or in the community, even if it's only a few hours a week. But many people have full-time demanding jobs. But how do we all view work? The Bible teaches that God worked in creating the universe and everything in it and was pleased with the results. Christians are also encouraged to do their jobs wholeheartedly, working uh, as if serving God. Well, to find out how this might work out in actual day-to-day -day life, I decided to go and talk to Jody. Hi Jodie, thanks for agreeing to talk to us. I wonder if you could tell us, well, who is Jodie? Okay, hi Helen. Hi. Um, well, I'm a mum to two children, Annabelle, who's six, and Oscar, who is two and a half. I'm married to Chris, and we've been together for 17 years. Um, I'm from Hampshire originally, and moved up to Bristol when I went to university, and then stayed in the area really since then. Um, my background, work-wise, was in HR, actually, mm -hmm. and I've worked in HR for um, about 15 years mm -hmm. or so, in various different organisations, schools, um, an advertising agency, an aviation company mm -hmm. in Cheltenham for a long time. Um, and I think that's where I kind of built up my passion for people and supporting them with their hopes and dreams and their mm. ambitions and developing their careers and that sort of thing. Um, in terms of my kind of religious background, I grew up Catholic, mm -hmm. but became quite a lapsed Catholic, I would say, as I sort of hit adulthood. It didn't really resonate with me in, in a lot of areas. Um, when I moved to Stroud, which was about seven years ago now, I really felt a call to return to God. Mm -hmm. um, I've always believed in God, but I haven't necessarily always been um, church going. And I came across um, Reverend Simon Howe, actually, yeah. at St. Lawrence, uh, on a Wednesday morning service, just after we'd moved here. Mm -hmm. And um, he talked to me about the team and the different churches that we have across the team. and felt that Holy Trinity would be a good fit for me because of, um, you know, it's great focus on children and having the children's activities mm -hmm. there at the church. And so that's really where it kind of went from in terms oh. of my sort of religious background anyway. Yeah, oh, thanks very, very much. Yeah, so um, can you tell us about your paid job? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so I have two roles really. One is team manager for mm -hmm. the Stroud Parish Church's group and the other is um, venues manager. Mm -hmm. So the team manager part of the role is a bit like an operations manager um, where I kind of just make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, I'm making sure that people are in the right places at the right times. I'm organizing, um, helping to organize rotors. Um, and I also um, keep the church week database going, um, which is um, something that actually um, I introduced originally couple of years ago oh, okay. um, and so that's our online database that we you know keep everybody's records on so that's really an important part mm. of, of what we're doing um, and then also life events so mm -hmm. I um, support all of the bookings for uh, weddings baptisms and funerals mm -hmm. that's one of the main things that I do as part of the team manager half of the role yeah and the other half of the role is the bookings um, so the venues manager so that's where, um, across all of our nine churches, plus um, the halls that we have for, for various different churches as well, um, we hire those facilities out to people um, mm -hmm. across the community for various different things. Um, we do a lot of concerts, festivals, yeah. that sort of activity, uh, mainly at St. Lawrence. Um, we do a lot of, um, but also, sorry, at Holy Trinity as well as another oh, one, yes. we do quite a lot of musical events, which is brilliant. Yeah. Um, and then we also have um, families booking for parties, that sort of thing. Yeah. 
So it's a really important revenue stream for our churches, uh, just to help them to, you know, build up some some funding so that they can then go off and, and, and do their mission and ministry. Um, yeah. And just making sure that, you know, I'm really on top of keeping the, those places advertised and, yeah. and well used. And it's part of our thing to want to be hospitable as well, Absolutely. isn't it? And make them available at yeah. not too great a cost. Yeah. Yeah. A reason, a good cost. Yeah. Good cost. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it is a busy part of the role. The customers often have lots of different demands. And so mm -hmm. that does really keep me very busy. But mm. I love it. I really mm. enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. So what helped you decide to take this job on? Um... I really wanted to change career um, mm -hmm. after I'd had children. Uh, the role I was in was very very corporate, very mm -hmm. busy, very pressured, and really expectations were that you were on call twenty four seven. It wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't feasible, and I didn't want to do that after I had children. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I felt called to do something within the church, mm -hmm. um, and then Kate literally called me to do something <laughs> in the church by. Mm. Talking to me about whether I would like to um, to help to introduce the new church or oh, the new yes. database, yeah, and that's where it started from, and then it just grew in terms of what the team required. Yeah. Um, I just wanted something that was a lot more fulfilling, um, where I felt I could serve God, where I could um, feel like I was working in an environment that was very. Um, flexible, very caring, very nurturing, mm -hmm. and able to work it around the children and um, make sure that I had, um, I do work from home a lot of yeah. the time, uh -huh. which is great, it's really convenient of course, mm -hmm. um, although I do like to come in to, to town to meet people where I can yeah. as well. we'd so miss you if we didn't see you for real. real. <laughs> yes. Do the more, more tricky bits or that a bit, you know, don't light your fire so much? Um, the main sort of pinch point for me is just having the time to do it all because mm -hmm. it is you know it's just three days a week and there is an awful lot involved um trying to do things is probably the main thing because i really want to do things well mm -hmm. and i want to you know support the team as much as possible and the churches and the impact that it has on the people in the community i'm really passionate about so it sort of drives you to get as yeah. much done as you can but yeah I'm very I'm also very strict with myself that I won't work longer hours than I ought to because I need to spend that quality time with my family so yeah yeah so yes getting things done I think is probably my biggest it's got to it's got to be sustainable hasn't yeah it? yeah exactly. yeah yeah so what motivates you to um to do what you're doing and to perhaps yeah. try, you know, and aiming and wanting to do it even better. What's your, what's the motivation there for you? I think, as I mentioned just then, you know, that passion for really serving the community, mm -hmm. but also serving God. And I feel that what I'm, some of the, th most of the things that I'm doing, you know, are very mm. much directly um, serving that mission for yeah. me. Yeah. So, for example, making sure that, um, you know, a baptism family, they just have the most wonderful day, they have mm -hmm. a wonderful experience, and that we're using that opportunity to really welcome them to the yeah. church and to really, you know, use that as a mission opportunity. Um, so, yes, and then just sort of seeing the, the faces afterwards, the hearing yeah. the feedback of how wonderful it's been, and then, you know, the real icing on the cake when that family then returns, and mm -hmm. they're coming every week, and they're getting involved in our church work, yeah. is a real motivator, yeah. for sure. It's lo it is lovely, isn't yeah. it, sort of to welcome people, and welcome new people, and get to know yes. others as well. Yeah, it's really absolutely. Good. So would you say you feel that you're serving God in what you're doing? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I think um, I think what I, when I need when I took the sort of change of career, if you like, I mm -hmm. needed to be doing something that was more fulfilling for yeah. me, yeah. and doing something that felt like I was in service to God was really important. Um, I also um, I think it's the the team, the strength of the team, the direct team. Mm -hmm. So Kate, you know, every case I work for as my direct manager, mm -hmm. is you know the team is just so loving and nurturing and supportive, and that was really important to me as well. So you can see God kind of working yeah. across the team, um, which is yeah. It, 
I feel like I couldn't go on to a different job now, now that I've had this experience. <laughs> it's just been really Ooh. joyful. I'm very pleased to have that. <laughs> yeah, I, and it's really good to have you. Uh, very, and I'm particularly I'm very pleased that your, your gifts complement uh, other gifts in the team. Thank and you. Thank you so much for what you do. And always being willing to uh, to help out and being on the end of the text or an email. <laughs> <laughs> and well done keeping your boundaries for your family as well. Thank you, yes. Yeah, very important. We'll we keep love that, that up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so, so much, Jamie, right, for your thank time. Thank you, Helen. Thanks.